the biliopancreatic diversion with duodenal switch. Surgery starts by placing several trocars strategically in the abdominal wall. Once placed, instruments and scope are passed in order to visualize and mobilize the intra-abdominal contents. The normal flow of food passes from esophagus to stomach to the small intestine where the food mixes with the stomach acids and digestive enzymes and absorption of nutrients takes place. The biliopancreatic diversion with duodenal switch, abbreviated BPDDS, is a procedure with two components. First, a smaller tubular stomach pouch is created by removing a portion of the stomach, very similar to the sleeve gastrectomy. The duodenum, or the first portion of the small intestine, is divided just past the outlet of the stomach. A segment of the distal, or last portions of the small intestine, is then brought up and connected to the outlet of the newly created stomach so that when the patient eats, the food goes through a newly created tubular stomach pouch that empties directly into the last segment of the small intestine. Roughly three-fourths of the small intestine is bypassed by the food stream. The bypassed small intestine, which carries the bile and pancreatic enzymes that are necessary for the breakdown and absorption of protein and fat, is reconnected to the last portion of the small intestine so they can eventually mix with the food stream. Similar to other surgeries described above, the BPDDS initially helps reduce the amount of food that is consumed. However, over time, this effect lessens and the patients are able to eventually consume near normal amounts of food. Unlike other procedures, there is a significant amount of small bowel that is bypassed by the food stream. Additionally, the food does not mix with the bile and pancreatic enzymes until very far down from the small intestine. This results in a significant decrease in the absorption of calories and nutrients, particularly protein and fat, as well as nutrients and vitamins dependent on fat absorption, like fat-soluble vitamins and nutrients. Lastly, the BPDDS, similar to the gastric bypass and sleeve gastrectomy, affects gut hormones in a manner that impacts the hunger and satiety, as well as blood sugar control. The BPDDS is considered the most effective surgery for the treatment of diabetes among those that are described. The advantages include results in greater weight loss than Runway gastric bypass, laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy, or adjustable gastric banding. In other words, 60 to 70 percent excess weight loss or greater at five-year follow-up. Allows patients to eventually eat normal meals. It reduces the absorption of fat by 70% or more. It causes favorable changes in gut hormones to reduce appetite and improve satiety. It is the most effective against diabetes compared to Runway gastric bypass, laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy, and gastric band. The disadvantages is that it has higher complication rates and risks for mortality than adjustable gastric band, laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy, and Runway gastric bypass. It requires a longer hospital stay than adjustable gastric band or laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. It has a greater potential to cause protein deficiencies and long-term deficiencies in a number of vitamin and minerals like iron, calcium, zinc, fat-soluble vitamins such as vitamin D. Compliance with follow-up visits and care and strict adherence to dietary and vitamin supplementation guidelines are critical to avoid serious complications from protein and certain vitamin deficiencies.